Hello? But I was doing this shit when I met you. You knew what I wanted to do. Bitch, I've been rapping my whole life. Huh? So you want me to just give up on my dreams? Or... Bitch, are you crazy? Ooh, hello? Hey, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to this episode of Talking with Paul. Why niggas rap? That's all we got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, coming from the hood and the ghetto, that's the first way people really, we learn to express ourselves is through music. Music is a very powerful instrument that's been used for centuries. And that's all we got in the ghetto is rap music. A lot of us are artists, or not artistic, a lot of us are artists, but we don't know how to put it in other, like me. For example, I started off as a rapper. I was 12 years old. I was the Sea Dog. Growing up a page here. Matter of fact, I remember my first rap. The Sea Dog is here, and I'm kicking a fucking stashing dog. Cause you know it's like that. I'm black, and I know Afro. I'm rhyming, and then people think we hardcore. But you know that I'm always on guard. Cause I'm the Sea Dog. I'm kicking it every time, fool. And you think that you that, but you know the Sea Dog rule. And I'm kicking it like that. I'm straight from page Dale. It is not heaven, yo. I think that it is hell. My first rap, y'all just got the exclusive from the Sea Dog. I was a crip, 12 years old, growing up page there, man. You know what I'm saying? But I can remember that because this is my first love. Music is my first love. We rap because we love this shit. We rap because this is the only way we can express ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, we have nothing, people. Nothing. That's why so many niggas rap. Everybody got their studio. Everybody want to be somebody. Don't nobody want to be that nigga that's just nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be somebody, and rap is the first way that we learn to express ourselves. And that's why so many niggas do it. You know what I'm saying? That's why <clears throat> it's a dream of our... And, and like I said, I started as a rapper, but now I've evolved. A lot of niggas, y'all need to evolve, because if you get to a certain age and ain't shit happening, man, there's so many other ways and so many other... Uh, it's just so many other ways you can express yourself, and I started learning that through video, you know, through me, uh, Prince E. Hey, Prince E., one of my partners, man, he, psh, look him up, he's doing some amazing shit online, you know what I'm saying, that spoken word thing. He started off as a rapper. It's a lot of Queen Latifah, mobile. She started off as a rapper. That was the first way we learned to express ourselves. And you do evolve, and you do get on to other things. So women, when you be with your boyfriend, and you supposed to be his biggest fan. Family members, if somebody trying to do something positive, y'all supposed to be their biggest fan. Because you never know what it can turn into. It start off as rap, but it can become something way more bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how we learn to express ourselves. You know what I'm saying? You dogging your man out. This nigga rap got the studio and all that shit. This bitch ass nigga out. Fuck you, bitch. And that's how we feel. You know what I'm saying? You stepping on our love. And Don't nobody say nothing to all you bitches. Going to school being CNAs. That's all Sefford Brown. Motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Followers. Script, script, uh, what? Express script, bitch. Nobody say nothing about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let a man, let a motherfucker have their dreams. Don't fucking step on nobody's dreams because you never know what it'll turn into. I've lost a lot of relationships because I was a rapper. I remember this chick back in high school. I ain't gonna put you on blast, bitch. But she was just, when I was back in high school rapping, ain't no future for you doing this. I just don't see myself. This bitch got kids, her life over. Now, no dreams, bitch, you a zombie. That's why I call them zombies. People walking around with no dreams, no ambition. You just going to work every day. You walking dead. You on the next episode, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? All this shit coming to play. You got to have dreams, aspirations. You got to have something to live for. And in black people in the community, when we young, we ain't got shit to live for. You, you born in the ghetto, all you see is dope heads, fiends, police harassment, harassing motherfuckers. That's why this Mike Brown thing's so big. That's why it ain't gonna stop. Because you know what this thing? It gave niggas that had no purpose, or felt like they had no purpose, purpose now. You got, I got partners who with dope heads, fiends, now these niggas leading shit. Leaders, because it's giving them purpose. And that's why we started rap first, because in a, in, in a, in a, in a way, 
It gives the young black man purpose. We've been told our whole life that we ain't shit. Our mamas t tell us you ain't shit. Are you just like your... If a man, if so, if a motherfucker trying to do something positive, trying to, I don't give a fuck if he rap, draw, sports, you gotta feed, you gotta feed that. You gotta be their biggest fan. Because the more support you get in, the bigger that this can become. And the better chances they got to get about this fucked up situation. So they won't be on the next episode of the talk of the Walking Dead, working at motherfucking Family Dollar at 37, making 8, 13 an hour. You know what I'm saying? So just remember, man. Support St. Louis. Y'all gotta support y'all own. Support these artists here. The, all eyes are on us now. Now we can grow. We can be something bigger than what we ever imagined. So I'm gonna leave y'all with that. I ain't gonna talk your motherfucking ear off. Not on this episode. But peace in the Middle East. West Side, stay up. I'm out. Pew, 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 pew,